You're not gonna believe this. Rihanna just bought my friend's condo. Well, maybe not actually my friend's condo, but the condo that my friend used to couch surf at when Matthew Perry owned it a few years ago. My name's Tyler Drinkwater. I'm a local Los Angeles realtor and former sommelier. This is Property Pairing, where we pair homes and wine. And today we have a stunner. Rihanna just picked up a 40th floor penthouse at One Century Place in Century City, Los Angeles for a cool 21 million bucks. House is a full floor through unit, so it means the elevator opens right up into your house. Um, 9,290 square foot, only four bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms. The key to this property is that it has four private balconies facing each direction, north, south, east, and west. You get incredible city views, mountain views. Any view you want, you're going to get here. Now, she closed the transaction on the last day of March, which means that she avoided that mansion tax, as did the seller, um, who did take a $600,000 loss after buying the condo from Matthew Perry. It was originally listed at $28 million. Rihanna picked it up for 21. This building is a star-studded building. Denzel lives there, tons of other celebrities. As I mentioned, Matthew Perry used to live there when my friend would sleep on his couch. Um, and it is right super central to everything. You have you know, Westfield Century City Mall right there, restaurants and shops, but you also have Beverly Hills, Cheviot Hills, Bel Air, Westwood, Brentwood. I mean, everything that you need is like right there. It's super central. The apartment or condo for me is like pretty standard. I'm excited and hopefully we'll see what she does with it, but you know, nothing really wows me in here. It is shockingly simple for $21 million. It does have a velour couch soundproof theater um, with an entire wall of windows looking outside. I think that is super badass. Um, tons of windows. It is a like kind of oval shaped building. So it's pretty cool. The layout and the structure of it, you know, lots of windows in the primary, but overall, like it's not a, it's not like a showstopper aesthetically super hyper designed architectural masterpiece. Uh, so I'm kind of curious why she bought it, maybe just to have a little ease and convenience and extra security. She was part of that burglary ring that happened a few years ago. She does own two homes um, in Bel Air next to each other right now, which she paid about 15 for and she has them rented out supposedly. Um, so this just may be like an opportunity for her to have peace of mind. She can kind of leave, doesn't have to think about it. She has a concierge, full security, everything. Everything set up for her. This building does have other available units in it. So if you are interested in seeing those other units, there's one just a few floors down. It's a three bed, five bath, 6,000 square feet, and it is a modest 14,995,000. But if you're just looking to get into the building and own something, we can go 35 floors lower than Rihanna and uh, you can grab a two bed, two and a half bath, just under 2,500 square feet for an easy 4.4,000,000. $29,900. So let's talk about private showings. Hit me up, drop a comment. I'm curious uh, what you guys think. This building is always in the news. Somebody's always buying something crazy in it. So take a look at the pictures over here. My guy's gonna put them up. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty simple. Um, definitely doesn't scream Rihanna flavor to me or flair, but you know, she liked it, so she picked it up. So what do we pair with this home. Well, for this one, I think it's less about me pairing it to the home. And I'm gonna tell you the bottle I would bring uh, when she invites me over for the, ho the housewarming party. And uh, you know, when I think of Rihanna, there's one word that I think of and it is iconic. And so I had to go with my buddy Burke's brand, Iconic Wine. He has this super limited release called Oscar. He made it in 2020 up in Sonoma. It's a crazy blend of Zinfandel, Carignan, Grenache, Petit Syrah, Tokai, and Movedra. It's wild, old vines, super historic, super you know famous site. Burke describes this blend as a complex mix of bright and rich. And I think what two better words describe Rihanna? I mean, look at these images. She got a crystal studded flask. She's rolling a blunt on her security guard's head. And apparently she always travels with a wine glass. Where she keeps it, who knows, probably her security guard, but there it is. 
This is the wine that I would bring to her house. If you wanna go and check out those condos or other units in the building, you're looking for a home in LA, you're looking for a private showing, I'm your guy. If you have questions, drop a comment, you wanna reach out, my info is in the description. As always, if you like the video, thumbs up, and please subscribe, we'll be doing more of these property pairings. I'll see you soon.